ladies and gents and all the people that's been with me since I started this shenanigans I'm gonna like to call you the big red food army so that's what I'm gonna refer to you as from now on the big red food army and thanks for being a part of it but anyway welcome to another episode of the ghetto gourmet it's your boy big red I haven't eaten nothing since uh, yesterday uh, when I cooked some killer fish for me and my son. But my son's at his mom's house and I'm flying solo tonight. So I got a few leftovers in the, uh, in the old uh, ice box there and I'm going to whip up something. It ain't no cooking involved, it's just mixing stuff up. So let's get started. Get this here bowl. It's been sitting in the in in the in the closet there for a little minute, so let me wipe it out. Alright, so we got our little bowl there. Yeah, my apartment's so small I ain't got enough cabinet space to uh put all my pots and pans and corningware dishes in the cabinets. So I have to use my laundry room. My, my laundry room doubles as the laundry room and overflow of pots and pans, overflow of, of uh, the pantry. So it, it triples up as some stuff. But anyway, we got our bowl here. See what else we got up in this old white box. If y'all remember, a few days ago, I made me a, a BLT, killer BLT. I don't know if I put it on yet, but by the time this goes on, it will be on there. So I got some leftover uh, lettuce, leftover tomatoes. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got us some, uh, got some cheese. We got some cucumbers. Let's see what else we got up in here. So we got a little bit of shredded cheese, we got some carrots, got some cucumbers. Alright, let's see. Um we got a couple other things. But anyway, let's get this lettuce broken up here. You know, Brandon used to say, waste not, want not. I see, what do y'all call, what, what, look, down there in the comment section, what did y'all call y'all grandmother? You know, I actually called my grandma Nanny, N-A-N-N-Y, because when I was little, I couldn't say Granny, and that's what she wanted me to call her, Granny, but she ended up being Nanny, and that stuck with her until the day she died. All right, so let's go rinse this here lettuce off. I'm gonna break all this up here. That big old bag there. Yeah. Let's go rinse this here off. Always rinse your fresh fruits and veggie pebbles. All 
And this ain't your regular uh, romaine or uh, lettuce there. This is. We're gonna break all this here up. Could eat that stalk and not too much of that stalk. So we're gonna break up this here lettuce. I'm just gonna break here this lettuce up by hand. I mean, you gotta be super broken up, but let's do one more. Since I am a little hungry, we're gonna make this big ass salad. Right, we got that rinsed off. Put that away. We may even make a salad tomorrow. But yeah, did y'all call y'all grandma, grandma, mama, granny, nanny, grandmama? What the heck? We're gonna throw that in there too. We ain't gonna waste that. All right, let's get a. Uh, let's chop this tomato here up. I don't know if I want to do rings or, or no, we're going to just, we are going to chop this bad boy up this kind of way. You're not like a good salad. Let me cut this little bit of this here out of there. And y'all been telling me, oh, the fat man's at it again. He's eating. That big fat bastard, he's eating. He, he eating, he eating, he eating. He's going to gain 7,000 pounds. Well, guess what? All that eating I've been doing, these britches that I'm wearing, yeah, I had gained a lot of weight since uh probably probably gained about 40 pounds since uh probably uh, i don't know maybe september of last year to about last month and now these britches are starting to feel a little loose on me so hey something's going on i don't know they ain't getting much looser but let's see open this here to me to up we ain't going to use it all, but I'm going to cut this up. This is still good. I didn't get all the cut that little bad, not the bad spot, but where the vine was hooked. Cut that little piece off. We don't need that. Hmm. That's good. I'm going to save this other half of this tomato for tomorrow. We're going to make a salad tomorrow. I'm going to make a big ass salad here. I'm going to chow down on this sucker. All right, so we got that all in there. Let's uh, open these baby carrots. These are also good. I'm going. I might review these for something else too. Cause these are good for a snack. You might see. You might see these end up on Big Red's uh, snack attack. Some baby carrots in there. So this is trash. We could throw this out. I 
That's pretty big. That's what she said, right? Let me rinse this off. All right, we'll save this cucumber for something else. Try a piece of this cucumber. Mm. Cucumber's good. They want sale too. Let's put a few more in there. So we're gonna make a it's our only meal today. So we're gonna make it a big old salad. A couple more slices. How's that? And one more for good measure. But this one going, I won't go in my head. All right. We're gonna do something with that cucumber later. All right. We're going to put some shredded cheddar in there. I'm going to waste that. Wash my hands off right quick. extra uh, fixings up. Uh. But yeah, I figured I'd make a salad tonight. Y'all keep telling me, hey big boy, you, you're going to get too fat and this, that, and the other. And you know what? To all you naysayers, that's just more me to love. The bigger I am, that's more of me to love. You get a swig of this here water. I got something else to put in this salad too. I don't know where I put it. Aha! I'm going to put some raisins in there. We got some raisins. Get our kitchen scissors out. Give this a little cut. It says it's a reclosable bag. I doubt that, but. I don't see how it's going to be reclosable, but anyway. Put a twist tie on that, then it's closable. What kind of communist witchcraft is this? We got nature's candy here. Mm, that's good. Snack shelf. Boom, there we go. And I'm still thinking that this might be missing something. We could put the skizzers back. We don't need this knif anymore. How about let's put some pineapple in there? Pineapple's always good, right? Ah, we're going to 
gonna need that knife again. So I thought this uh, this is the uh, this is the old sliced ones. I thought I had the uh, chunky ones. Let's get that knife back again. Let's take about three slices here. Put some pineapple in there, that's good stuff, yo. Hey, you can't even see the tomatoes or the carrots anymore. Got so much crap in here. Hey, you can't even see the lettuce. Alright, so we'll put this back in the fridge. We'll cover it later. We are definitely done with the knife now. That's the beauty of a salad. I mean, you can put just about anything in it and get away with it get this liquid up off of this counter here and then I'll wash it later just want to clean it up a little bit a little preliminary a little preliminary cleaning so it ain't so bad later all right so what kind of salad dressing we're going to use we're going to use robust Italian the oily Italian not the creamy Italian All right, so there we have it. It's a beautiful looking salad. And again, what I probably made here is probably enough for two. You know what, I wanna try a little of this on it. I just bought this today at this place that sells nothing but beef jerky and hot sauce. So I got this stuff called Cajun Power Gar Spicy Garlic Sauce. Let's give it a go. It's sealed up pretty well. I was going to use this to marinate some something, but you know, yeah, you know what? Well, since I can't, my fingernail, I cut my fingernails this morning. I can't get that open. We're going to deal with that with something else. But I tasted it at the place because you could sample every freaking hot sauce I got there. I tried everything that I thought would be good or hot and that's probably the most flavorful one I picked. Got our fork. Let's bring y'all over here to see this monstrosity. I mean look at the size of that bowl and bam get all of that goodness in there. Can't even see the tomatoes or nothing anymore but it's all healthy and the only thing left to do is put it in your mouth. So I'll meet y'all at the coffee table. Alright, so here we are at the coffee table. Thanks for sticking with me if you stuck with me this long. Just to watch me eat a salad. Let me kind of mix this up so the dressing will go everywhere. It's pretty liquidy so it should Start putting this in our mouth. So, so y'all finally seeing me eat healthy. Big flavor, little budget. And using leftovers because think about this that's what ghetto cooking is all about big flavor little budget big 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 flavor little budget small price think about this 
I always keep cheese in the refrigerator for when I make things with cheese, so. I bought the tomatoes and the lettuce to make a BLT for my Ghetto Gourmet channel. I bought the cucumber, the carrot, I always had pineapple, but I have those three things and the raisins so I could review them as snacks because people eat healthy snacks. I mean, you don't always have to eat The only thing I specifically bought to make this salad with no other purpose was a salad dressing. So basically in all intents and purposes this is nothing more than leftovers. But man, that's real good. You know, so this is just like a garden salad, add cucumber, I mean, add, uh, raisins and pineapple. I think I kind of like this green leaf lettuce better than iceberg. What kind of lettuce y'all like? Let me know in the comments. Mm, this is so good. So what are y'all cooking tonight? Better yet, have y'all ever tried any of the Big Red's recipes yet? That's what I really want to know. I mean, granted, I made some definitely straight-up ghetto stuff, such as a PB and J and butter on a pop tart and stuff like that. But I do have a few that I really cooked because I can cook. That's the good the good part about it. You know your way around the spice rack? That's half your battle. Or if you know what ingredients complement each other. That's about a quarter of the battle. I wanted to make the salad for me and my boy yesterday. I didn't want no salad. It's like, Dad, what you made is enough. My son's not a picky eater. He'll eat anything I put in front of him. So, 
anyway, like I said in the beginning of this video, all my peeps have been with me since the start, and all the people just starting to watch me, I am now going to, any subscriber or long term viewer, I'm going to start referring to y'all as Big Red's Food Army. So, let me know what y'all think down there in the comment of that, that, uh, that, um, term of endearment I have given y'all. So, down there is a subscription button. I mean, I still got, I still got plenty of salad left. And I'm not going to keep y'all here to watch me eat it all because, I mean, this could go on for another 20, 30 minutes and that's, that's kind of long. I know half of y'all don't watch everything, but anyway, that's a subscription button. If you like this video, subscribe. You want to see my other content? Subscribe. It's an easy way to find me. Down in the description box, open it up. There's a link to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and a link to my homepage for, for YouTube so you can find my other videos. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Ba Bam! Hit me with one. Let me know you're watching. Leave me a comment. Take me one. I'll type you one back. Show me yours and I'll show you mine. And, uh, as always, tell your ma, tell your pa, tell your greasy, greasy grandma, share this video with your family and friends. I would appreciate it. And also, thanks for watching. And, uh, I'll see you next time in the kitchen. This has been Big Red for the Ghetto Gourmet. And may all your cooking experiences be ghetto fabulous. And to all you Big Red Food Army members, I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Thanks for watching. Hi, right, and thanks for watching another episode of The Ghetto Gourmet. If you like that video, subscribe click that little subscribe button please and if you enjoyed it there's a little like button down there give me the thumbs up and if you have a comment there's a section down there comment section leave a comment I reply to all my comments um, if there's something you want me to try to cook you know just name it put it down there I'll give it a try um, also uh, I have two other web series, the comics from, a can, from the can, and also White Trash Guide to Buffets Across America. Give those a, a view. Check them out. Think you may enjoy them. Until next time, enjoy cooking. Ghetto Fabulous Style.